Welcome to another edition of the Mark Ballot Show. I have a very special guest here by the name of Tony Smith. He has a restaurant. It's great to get opened up. It's called the Short Thing Grilling and Catering. What's up, my G? What's going on, bro? How you doing, sir? All right, all right. All right, man. Um, I like to ask you a few questions, man. You let everybody know about your your uh, establishment that you're about to open up. Um, uh, how did you get into cooking, man? Um, I got into cooking. Uh, mostly from my grandmother, you know, being in the kitchen with them as a youngin, watching them, mm -hmm. and I just kind of took to it and followed their steps and, you know, some of their recipes and added my own little twist to some of them. Okay. Yeah, man, that's cool, man. I bet you can burn a little bit, too. I can't wait to try your cooking. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how did you uh, start your business, by the way? How did you start it? I started my business um, just regularly like anybody else would start an LLC, you know, opening up a bank account, blah, blah, blah. But um, what made me start my business, um, about a year ago, I caught the coronavirus twice mm -hmm. where I was working at. I was working at Purdue in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I caught it the second time, I said I wasn't going to go back, mm -hmm. you know, because I had my family and everything. I didn't want them to get sick. Right. So, um, mm -hmm. I went and started my own business, you know, leap of faith just to see what would happen. Right. And it turned out to be successful. I'm glad everything is working out for you, man. I'm glad you got rid of that COVID and all that too, man. Oh, it yeah, man. Great, it man. was real. <laughs> uh, mm -mm -mm. Okay, uh, business-wise, when do you start your brand? You said when did I start? Yeah, when did you start it? Um, my business was established uh, January 8th of uh 2021 mm -hmm. okay so you've been pushing for for about a good year for about a good year and yeah. it's looking it's looking bright that's good man everything is getting, looking up for you that's great man um do you have um any plans uh do you have any plans to is, is expect like within the community what do you you know what kind of plans do you have for the community like uh as of right now um I'm working with uh, Dr. Kirkland Hall, which happens to be my, my grandfather, okay. and um, town co town commissioner in uh, Somerset County, Lionel Frederick. Lionel, what up, what, Lionel Frederick? Um, we're trying to implement um, a local entrepreneur community day. Uh, as of right now, I do have the town uh, town support of Somerset County and uh, the NAACP. Um, we're pushing to uh, try to get a local entrepreneur community day, and it'll be held annually every year once we set a, a date for it mm -hmm. and everything. And this right here is to help uh, small businesses to uh, mix and mingle with the community, help, you know, get their businesses off the ground. Hmm, that's cool, man. You got, you got your plan sketched out pretty good, man. Okay, uh, what does uh, being a business owner mean to you? Um, being a business owner, what does it mean to me? Mm -hmm. It means building your name, legacy, you know, something you can leave behind for your children. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Most people, they start a, start a business, you know, and, you know, pass it down, mm -hmm. you know, from generation to generation, mm -hmm. create generational wealth. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Got to have something for them babies, man, we, before you leave this earth, man. You know what I mean? Uh, we're, working on, we're, we're working on more than one business. You know, I got the catering business. Also, at the the restaurant that should be opening probably, um, I'm going to give it mid-April. Mid -April. Waiting for renovations and everything right like that. Right around the corner, gang. Yeah, mid-April. And um, hopefully in the spring. Early spring, maybe uh, summer, we uh, we got the uh, seafood business coming. Mm -hmm. You know, um, in Somerset County, uh, we live on the Eastern Shore. Seafood is, you know, what I'm saying the Eastern Shore is built off of seafood. Yeah, it's so like why the not capital of the world? So why not, you know, capitalize off of that and you know make money off of it? Make money off of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, what future business plans do you have? Well, like I was just saying, we have the um, the seafood that we're working on now, and the commercial license as far as that, and uh, commercial construction. Mm-hmm. That's cool, man. Um, a lot of people need to, you know, get in tune of what is going on in our community because there's a lot of people out here that's really trying to make a difference, and it's really an A plus for this young brother right here doing his thing, man. I definitely give you a salute on that. Um, where did you get uh, 
your your suit from? Uh, what? <laughs> Where you get your suit from, brother? You dapper dad, ain't you? Oh man, this is <laughs> all my linens is Nautica. Nautica. Yeah, all my linens. This is This brother, Nautica. you got a f f little bit of Nautica on right now. Yeah, all, all my linens are Nautica. <laughs> yeah, man, that's that's cool, man. I mean, um, everybody's trying to do something good for the communities, man. It's it's a plus, man. Uh, what other thing that you would like to tell a young person who's like um wants to do the same thing you're doing, what advice do you have to give to those type of people? <clears throat> Don't be discouraged, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, a lot of people go through a lot of obstacles in their life before they get to where they want to be. So whatever you're going through in your life, you can overpower it and you can be what you want to be. Mm -hmm. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. If you give up, that means you're not going to be prosperous. You're not going to be able to see where you're Success is gonna lead you. You know what I'm saying. If you stop, you won't be able to see nothing. And I started started off in the beginning of my business. I started off selling barbecue platters from my backyard, mm -hmm. and it you know I grew my clientele base, and it just kept growing and growing. I got booked for little uh, birthday parties and um, anniversary parties, mm -hmm. little female brunches and stuff like that, and here I am now. Yeah, it's great, man. Any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, absolutely, here. absolutely. Um, shout out Kevonte Hall. Uh, he has his little clothing line, Shore Boys. Get at him. Uh, shout That's out cool. Dr. Kirkland Hall, my grandfather. Shout out the Jaguars when they win Monday night against Chrisfield. <laughs> That's gonna be an interesting game. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball? Yeah, they, they won. They won. They won Monday night. Washington High? Yeah, they won Monday. Wow. Night. Yeah, Monday night. Uh, a plus Washington High. Okay. That's absolutely, cool. Absolutely. I'm surprised about that one because those two teams right there, they always have been rivals. Same for, county. Same county, but you know they're always rivaling. You know, uh, over the years, even when I was going to Washington High, Chris Fields always been a rival with Washington High. Uh, Shout out Kirk Hall the third to my little cousin, man. He's doing his thing as well. Yeah, peace, 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 little cuzzo. Yeah, that's my cuz right there. Um, yeah, man, um, I like to give a shout out to uh, everybody who's tuning in to Mark Ballot Show, Pack 14. I like to give a shout out to Brat Fiend Radio and uh, all the people who's listening um, on radio every Saturday from 5 to 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Rat Fiend Radio. Very, very, very good Rat Fiend Radio station. It's, it's 24 hours of hip hop, but that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Yep. So, um, I can say peace, y'all. I mean, we out, you know. It's nothing more further to say. Be on the lookout for uh, Tony Smith. It's a short thing, grilling and catering. It's on the way, y'all. It's around the corner. Hit April, on, almost here. Hit me on Facebook, Instagram, 410 underscore Chef 1. Yep. All right, we out. Peace. <laughs>